Hey everybody, Tom Barnes, Chicago scene at Warren Star Clothing out here in Lake of the Hills. You might ask yourself, what is Warren Star Clothing and what do they do? Well, you might want to ask bands like ACDC, Metallica, Guns N' Roses, Led Zeppelin, because they outfit them with the clothes that they wear. You always wanted to dress like a rock star. Well, uh, this is the place to do it. They not only outfit the bands, they also work with them for album covers, photography, custom made clothing. All happens here with a husband and wife duo. I'm going to talk to Stefan, who is the husband of the husband and wife duo on how this got started from a little garage and one t-shirt to a showroom out here in Lake of the Hills for the Chicago scene. So over 30 years in the music business gets you a showroom where you get to display a Led Zeppelin machine that you helped display along with the namesake of your brand, Warnstar. I'm here with Stefan. How are you, sir? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. So you've been in the music industry for about that long, started off uh, playing in bands. You even got yourself on MTV back in the day with your band, and you've kind of morphed your way into the uh, clothing business, but it's a little bit more than that. But but let's first talk about your your career and how you got started. What was the band that got you on TV, first of all? Well, that band was in 1989, 1990. It was called Barracuda. Um, so it was a small band. We were on a small label, did some minor touring, uh -huh. and uh, it was a lot of fun when I was 20 years old. <laughs> yeah, and you know, uh, the music business being what it is, you there's always another trade that you should learn just to uh, keep yourself busy when things are slow, and that's kind of what happened. You, uh, you, you went to college, you got the graphic design itch, you started doing photography, and that's kind of how you fell into this business a little bit, just from all that work with... Uh, the photography and the graphic design falling into because of your music industry early days of working with bands uh, starting to do work for them kind of on the side as little side projects for album covers and whatnot right mm -hmm. well yeah I was always interested in visual arts uh, always loved design and graphic design and and photography um, so when I was getting ready to go to college uh, I decided I wanted to go into the visual arts and uh, started just doing fine arts, getting my uh, degree at the local community college here. And um, when I was switching over to Columbia College of Chicago, I decided to switch over to photography. Um, my mother was into photography and I, I kind of learned a bit from her. And uh, I really took a love for photography and back then, and uh, back then it was still film. Um, but I found that I was I was a good photographer, but I wasn't great in the dark room. But I was really good with graphic design, which was just starting to grow mm -hmm. um, with digital graphic design at that point. And so I switched my major over to graphic design. And uh, but I always loved the music industry and album artwork and album covers. And so that was really where I wanted to uh, take my skills and start doing design in the music industry. So since then, I did a lot of uh, album covers and band photos, uh, guitar designs, and stuff like that. So you, that's where you kind of really found your passion, where you were like, this is something I you live and breathe every day. And you kind of, uh, it's all in the family because your wife is your partner in this business venture, yes. and you met in high school, but as things were uh, changing for you, you wanted to do a little side project. So you were doing that as a job, and then you're like, you know what, Like we can offer like this very cool, unique experience for bands. You were calling like a rock and roll, um, not a Photoshop, but a, a rock and roll photography studio, mm -hmm. because your wife is a seamstress, and she puts together a lot of the costumes that uh, would help you kind of outfit a, a, a shoot for the day with certain bands. Yes, uh, in the 2000s, we were, I, I had a photo studio. Uh, I was doing freelance photography for a lot of musicians. And my wife, Sylvia, uh, was a stylist at the time and also a seamstress. Mm -hmm. So she would um, curate and design clothing for some of the bands we would work with on photo shoots and on video shoots. And um, we got to be known as that studio that had the on-staff stylist, so we had something as far as a rock and roll studio that other people didn't have locally. Um, we found that there was a lot of attention was being drawn to that where people were really liking what, what Sylvia was doing and what she was bringing to the table. So, um, and we took my graphic design skills and we kind of married them together. We always like bringing visual arts and music together. So um, clothing just seemed like a natural next step for us. And then we started Warnstar as a side project that quickly grew into 
now our full-time passion. Right. And you said you started off with like out of the garage and one t-shirt type. I mean, that's humble beginnings to now we're in a showroom and it is covered with uh, some of the work that you've done, including the Led Zeppelin game that you helped design on the first try, by the way. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Among other uh, things that artists have worn, like Eric Church platinum album up on the wall. I mean, you get notified that your artwork is being worn by certain artists and you get these awesome little accolades that you can look up on there and see the platinum artists wearing one of your t-shirt brands, which has got to be a surreal experience among the Led Zeppelin the, uh, pinball game behind you. Uh, it was really exciting when, uh, yeah, the Eric Church album, The Outsiders, was the first time a Warren Star item appeared on an album cover and to have it go multi times platinum was just super exciting. And is that something that kind of just is word of mouth in the music industry? Like when one person wears it and another band asks for it and who got you that and where is this from and how does that all work for you? It's uh, it's all word of mouth. Um, the music industry is pretty small. A lot of people know the same people. So uh, our name gets passed around and uh, the, the clothing gets shown around and we, we get orders all the time from artists we've never even spoken to, but We'll see an order come through with a name we recognize and it's kind of like a holy crap moment well speaking of we mentioned eric church and um the led zeppelin pinball game behind you what other bands have you worked with for people to kind of just have that either graphic design wise or shirt uh, outfitting them with any clothing and stuff like just give people an idea of some of the bands you've worked with well, over the years i've worked with, uh well the clothing company we work with uh bands like um, megadeth and five finger death punch um Eric Church Band, uh, Guns N' Roses, um, the list goes on and on. Um, outside of that, photography and graphic design, uh, I've worked with ACDC, uh, Metallica, Iron Maiden, uh, Stone Temple Pilots, um, that list goes on too. Yeah, that's a pretty impressive list of uh, bands you got there. Some of them Rock and Roll Hall of Fame members. I mean, it's got to be a surreal experience from starting off in a, a garage in one t-shirt to what you have now but what makes your clothing stand out i know that you do custom things uh right in the back there with the seamstress and uh how does how does that all work well we have a custom shop here in lake in the hills um where my wife sylvia desi designs most of the pieces and then we have seamstresses that will help make some of those pieces um it's custom made for uh for different rock stars and professional wrestlers all over the world but then we also have regular customers and local artists that buy from us all the time well certainly you don't have to be in a band to wear the gear obviously right. people can come in here you guys are open for somewhat normal business hours i i presume the uh the showroom here is open from 10 to 4 monday through friday uh we do an occasional saturday uh usually about once a month and for people who might um be wondering like well what sets this apart from other things like what makes your brand and your type of clothing so unique that bands seem to like it so much well we we call ourselves the authentic rock and roll clothing company mm -hmm. authentic because sylvia and i come from the industry um we come from both sides of the of the clothing industry i've i've been on, on uh, both sides of the music industry I've performed on stage, been in music videos, but I've also been behind the scenes doing album artwork, doing guitar design, doing pinball design, doing clothing design. Um, so I think what stands out is for us is that we're the authentic real deal. You really are the real deal. And just walking through the showroom and seeing the artwork on the walls from your photo from your photographs to the album covers or concert posters or what have you, you kind of get that vibe as soon as you walk in here through all the avenues that you've worked and i think that's pretty impressive that you're doing this with your wife uh your mom and dad too you have four kids and and you've managed to do all of this by staying true to your roots here in lake in the hills you didn't move to, you know like a lot of you hear these stories a lot where oh they started here and then they moved to you know downtown chicago or, or new york or la like this is not something that i think most people would find or think to find in a suburb like lake in the hills well, we grew up, uh, I grew up in the, in the Northwest Burbs, been out here all my life. I really like it here. I love Chicago. I love going down to Chicago, but I preferred living out here. And uh, when, we were, when we had our kids and raising our kids, we wanted to stay out here. Um, so we actually live in Crystal Lake, and we just opened the showroom here in Lake in the Hills. 
Uh, what's the best way for people to learn more about your products that you sell here and hours and all that good stuff? You can find everything on warnstar.com. Warnstar.com. Thank you very much, Stefan. I appreciate the time, and this store is absolutely amazing. Congratulations on what you've done here. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So that is the Chicago scene for today in uh, Lake in the Hills, T-B-A-R-N-A-S at WGNTV.com. If you have a suggestion for the Chicago scene, that's T-Barnas at WGNTV.com. And you can get your fill on anything rock and roll right here, and come say uh, hi to my friend Stefan. He's right there. See you guys.